Hey third graders, it's me, Miss Ho. Today we're going to be reading this book together called Apple Fractions. Apple Fractions. This book is about apples and math. Apples are a fruit that we eat. They do not grow under rocks. They do not swim in the ocean. They are not made in a factory. Apples grow on trees. Apples. Thousands of different types of apples are grown around the world. Apples can be red, yellow, green, or some combination of these colors. Fractions. Can you guys see a fraction you recognize here? What is a fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole thing. A fraction is shown by placing one number over another number. A line separates the numbers. For example, one half or one out of two. Macintosh. Here's one whole Macintosh apple. This type of apple can be both a drink and a snack. A Macintosh is very juicy, but it is also crunchy and fun to eat. One whole. If you would like to share one apple with someone, what would you do? Two kids, one apple? A solution would be to divide the apple into two parts, a stem for one kid and the apple for the other kid. No, that's not fair. So if you heard what they're saying, they're like, okay, well, if I divide this apple into two parts, you can have the stem and I get this whole thing. And we probably already know why that wouldn't be the fairest way. One half. How about a better way? Divide the apple into two equal parts. Here's one half of the apple. One half. Here's the other half of the apple. Two kids, one apple, two halves. Sharing apples and learning fractions is fun. Golden delicious. This apple is called a golden delicious. On the outside, it has a thin skin. On the inside, the fruit is soft. Three thirds. Hmm, if I have three out of three pieces, I could also say it another way. What if three friends want to eat this apple? Three friends, one apple, three equal parts. One third. Here is one third of a golden delicious apple. Not all apples have white fruit. The inside of this apple is light yellow. Two thirds, so two out of the three pieces. Here's what is left over from one whole apple after taking away one third. Two thirds, one third plus two thirds equals three thirds. Three thirds is a whole apple. Granny Smith, ooh, this one's my favorite, I think. This is a Granny Smith apple. Is it ripe? Yes, a Granny Smith is green even when it is ripe and ready to be picked off the tree. This apple is sometimes hard to chew. It is not sweet. It is a little sour. One whole, one out of one. What if four people in a family want to eat one Granny Smith apple? The apple would need to be divided into four pieces. One fourth. Each family member would get one fourth. The top number of a fraction is called the numerator. So this one. The numerator of this fraction is one. Think to yourself if you remember what the number on the bottom is called. Hmm. Three fourths. The bottom number of fraction is called the denominator. So we have that happening. The fraction three fourths has a numerator of three and a denominator of four. Red delicious. Which apple tastes the best? Everyone has a favorite. Many people think the red delicious apple is the best looking and the best tasting. It is time to learn the parts of an apple, stem, skin, pulp, core, and seeds. Most apples have 10 seeds. 
So if you look at this diagram, they then also label parts of the apple. Orange. This is not an apple. It is an orange. It's another fruit that you can enjoy while learning fractions. There's no need to cut it. Under the peel, it grows in wedges. Oranges grow in warm climates. Apples grow in cold climates. Gala. A gala is a medium-sized apple. It is about the size of your fist. The largest apples are as big as grapefruits. The smallest are the size of cherries. Four fifths. This gala is cut into five equal pieces. Each piece is one fifth. One fifth plus four fifths equals five fifths. When the numbers above and below the line are the same, the fraction equals one whole. So if it's five, over five or five out of five or five fifths, that means the same thing as one whole. So if you eat five out of five pieces, then you could also say you ate the whole thing. One sixth, apple blossom. Apple trees grow flowers in the spring. Bees fly from flower to flower and spread pollen on the apple blossoms. This is the start of an apple. Thank you, bees. Without bees, there would be no apples. Bees, five sixths. One sixth of the bees is busy working. Five sixths of the bees are looking for another apple tree or maybe even a pear tree, a plum tree or a cherry tree. So here are the five sixths that are working or not working. They're looking for something else. And here's the one sixth that is working. Portland. If you cut an apple sideways, you'll notice that the core is shaped like a star. Dividing the apple sideways instead of from top to bottom will not give you equal parts. The top, the middle, and the bottom of an apple are each a different width. So what they're saying is that like this piece, if you're like, okay, I'll give you seven pieces. Here, you can have this one and then I'll take this one. Technically, if you cut an apple this way, you're not going to be creating equal pieces. There are three basic types of apples, eating apples, juice apples, and baking apples. No matter how you slice it, a Cortland is a wonderful apple to use when baking a pie. So if you notice here, they cut it into sevenths the correct way, into those wedges. Asian pear. Sometimes looks can fool you. This fruit looks like an apple. It is shaped like an apple, but it tastes like a pear. Why? It is a pear. Let's use this Asian pear to learn about improper fractions. If this pear is divided into eight equal pieces, each piece is one eighth of the pear. A whole pear is eight eighths. So one eighth is one piece. Eight eighths is an entire apple. Imagine you have nine eighths. Nine eighths is an improper fraction. You would have to use two pairs to make nine eighths. Nine eighths is really one whole pair and one eighth of a second pair. Cider, one ninth. What is the difference between cider and apple juice? Cider is squeezed from fresh apples. The liquid is tan and full of pulp. So if we notice, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine glasses. And then how many are filled versus how many are not filled? Apple juice. Apple juice is cider that has been filtered. The tan pulp is removed and the apple juice is clear. Are you thirsty? Would you like one-fourth, one-half, three-fourths, or a whole glass of apple juice? I think for apple juice, I would want a whole glass. One-tenth. Here are ten apples. Oh, well, there were ten apples. Here are nine apples. One has been eaten. 
One tenth is now a core. Nine tenths are whole apples. The millions of tons of apples harvested every year are still picked by hand. Out of every 10 apples, six are eaten fresh. So out of 10, every 10, six are eaten fresh. Two out of every 10 are squeezed into cider and apple juice. The remaining two out of every 10 are made into canned apples, pie filling jams, jellies, dried apples, and apple butter. So if you notice, six tenths eaten fresh, two tenths cider or juice, plus two tenths baking, pie filling, and all that. So if you add it all up, six plus two, eight plus two more, it's 10. So 10 out of 10, that is the whole. Apple pie. While you're reading this book, someone baked an apple pie. Let's eat a fraction of it. Hope you guys enjoyed the book.